the Tom and Doug Show. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Tom and the Doug and the Show. Tom, who's that there? That is Happy Joe Canzano, and he's yawning. I can no. see it in, in because he is so <laughs> because I travel to be on so the show. far to get here. Yes, people usually get bored with our show at the end of the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a little farther he's, in. He's just sort of juicing you up, audience, because we we, we really want to to make sure you guys are in the right frame of Could mind. Serving my energy. Yeah, and uh, Joe Canzano has this wonderful book. And have you always liked? It's it's called Magno Girl. It's called Magno Girl, and it is da, a brand da, da, da. new book. It is your first novel is that true this is true yes now do you are you so this one's actually novel yeah and anything you write after this can't be uh well you could say that now <laughs> now have you always uh, wanted to write a novel is this a, like a new thing for you or well, I've, ever uh, since a kid? I've been working on it for a long time but i just uh it was a long story with this book but um Originally, I actually had an agent shop this book around Cool. years ago, uh -huh. and of course, nobody wanted it. Right. And then I wrote a bunch of other books, mm -hmm. three other books that I haven't put out, and then I decided, I'm going to put these books out myself, because sure. mm -hmm. everybody's doing it now. Right, right. And so I went back and rewrote Magno mm -hmm. Girl, mm -hmm. because uh, it's funny, because I read the reviews, and they say this book is, you know, kind of cartoonish and on the negative side. They say it's cartoonish and silly <laughs> and funny. If you like the kind of humor, I'm like, you should have seen the original version. It was way worse. <laughs> it was way sillier and way more cartoonish. But um, it's like the reviews that we've gotten. We, uh, review, oh, yeah. They yeah. have called us cartoony. Yeah. yeah. Our CDs, they've actually called uh, cartoon vocal. Oh, this book has gotten some good reviews. It's yeah. gotten some very good reviews. I, it, looks, but, it looks wonderful. So it is about a superhero? It's about a, a superhero named Magnolia. Mm. And uh, what's she her power in New York City? The gaze of the guilt. She oh my can gosh. make you feel so guilty that you'll to get rid of that horrible guilt feeling. You'll confess to things that she's asking you. Tom. So even stuff that you didn't do. Um, no, it's going to be stuff you did. Oh, okay, so she can't. It's not like waterboarding. She can get you to confess to no, anything. No, no. <laughs> no, it's stuff that you did. But even if you don't feel guilty about it. I It'll think it'll work. I think I have met Magnum. It will girl. make you. <laughs> it will fill you with guilt that you should have. As she uh, says. I I am totally in your book. I, I'm <laughs> totally, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, I, I know Magno Girl mm. personally. I, in fact, I, almost every woman I've met. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds like a good thing. He, he, he has a lot to feel guilty about. <laughs> I I'm see. really good at it, yeah. So I, you it, guys it, both have some interesting backgrounds <laughs> that I don't know about. <laughs> So she is she, that's her superhero power, and she right. walks around and can make people to confess to, to uh, feeling good. Is she like pretty? Yeah, yeah. She's real good See, I tell you, I know this girl. I I know her really well. <laughs> now, does she have a theme song? What's, no, no. All Magno? right, you want the truth? I actually did write a Magna Girl song a couple of years ago, and I can't remember how to play it. Oh. I, I can't remember the one riff in there that I had, so I, I stopped doing it. So, oh, no, I'm yeah, so believe sorry. it or not. All right, well, fine. We'll play a song, uh, like a super, uh, or like a spy song. No, uh, well, no, this is my rendition of who Magno Girl is. Magno Girl is the girl with the dark brown eyes and the long black submachine gun. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, that's the song we'll play. Okay. She walks around all over town without a sound and death abounds. Her eyes are brown, dark as her gown. She wears a frown, it gets me down. Cause she's the girl with the dark brown eyes and the long machine gun I'm in her lair tied to a chair I should be where but I don't care she's over there I'd like to stare but I don't dare it's just not fair She's 
the girl with the dark brown eyes and the long and black submachine gun. I should know fear, but she has a rear that's without peer. It brings me cheer. She draws me near, she calls me dear, while my eyes tear, she disappears. Cause she's the girl with the dark brown eyes and the long and black submachine gun. Tall as a tree, walks wonderfully, a real beauty, but hard to see. She's such a tease, I'm on my knees, begging her please, do it to me. Cause she's the girl with the dark brown eyes and the long machine gun You know, I was telling my wife this reminds me of Spinal Tap the movie Spinal Tap and Puppet Show. Yes. Like, it's like, like when they're at the bottom. Like they've really <laughs> fallen as far as they can fall. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying, I said, I'm going to play with a couple of puppets. I said, I feel like Spinal Tap at rock bottom here. Wait, <laughs> we, who's a puppet, Tom? We what's aspire. He, about? Yeah, I don't know what he th- why he thinks that we're puppets. We're definitely not puppets. This is a, uh, just a fun song about getting away from wherever you are. Good song when you're for when you're at work. Hey, every time they turn their backs, baby, I've been digging. Digging up the sweet escape for me and you. And there's a ship already with sails and I've been rigging.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, our leader. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I shall talk to you about glorious conformity, about the delight and the ultimate pleasure of our unified society. I can speak to you, you can speak to me. I gotta leave on the television or I'll never ever get to sleep. Something about TV news feels like love to me. I see disasters, I see lives get ruined. But it always seems to work out fine Just as long as I stay tuned Something about TV news Feels like love to me It's such a friendly voice And a friendly word And as long as I got cable, I can let my voice be heard. Yes, there are problems out there, serious things that go wrong. But it's nice to know which sponsors have acquired my favorite songs. It feels like love to me. It feels like love. That the Gulf War would soon end My prayers were answered Even though he's such a busy man This is my life It feels like love to me So I pray to Oprah Winfrey That my life might soon be saved and I pray to the omnipotent Gene Shea that all my crappy records might get played. Now this is my life. It feels like love to me. Well, I was thinking just the other day as I was watching them explain what the president had meant to say. If I said I love you on the radio, well then 100,000 people, well they know it so, they know it so. But this is my life. It feels like love to me. listening to the Tom and Doug show. This is going to be a while. Why don't you get some pretzels? All right, we're back and we're talking to Joe Canzano about his superhero book called Magno Girl, the woman who can make you turn into a puddle of confession just by looking at you in that sweet way that she does. Chicks do that to me all the time. I, in fact, in fact, I can't stop it. I see them on TV and I'm confessing. <laughs> this, is, this is a pretty personal show, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm learning a lot here. I'm learning a lot about uh, Doug. But, uh... You're going to have to take a shower after this show. I'm sorry. But it tell, tell us about your book then. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Well, I mean. <laughs> um perspire all over your it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a satire. It's not a subtle satire, mm. as people have pointed out. It was never intended to be. I always find it funny when people point out things that they think are negative that you did on purpose. Right. Like, oh, this book is very cartoony. Well, the whole idea when I wrote the book was it's supposed to kind of be like a cartoon. You're supposed to feel like you're inside a cartoon. That was my idea. Uh-huh. You know, and when people say it's like a big graphic novel, no, it's not. Because I've read graphic novels, and there's way more in the book than a graphic novel. <laughs> so check it out. <laughs> very good. Magno Girl, where could people check it out? 
They could, uh, they can get it. But you can go to my website, happyjoe.net, and you'll find a billion different ways to get it because uh, it's kind of prominently featured on there. But uh, you can go to Amazon.com. You can go to BarnesandNoble.com. You could go to iTunes. Is there a, is there a segment you can read from it? I could read you the back of the book. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. When a Manhattan pizza maker is found dead in his own dough, Magno Girl enlists the aid of her biker ninja boyfriend to help solve the crime. And quickly, quickly discovers there's more to the pie than meets the eye, including a sinister plot that spans the globe. Magna Girl leaps into action. After all, she can fly, she can fight, and she can use her fearsome superpower, the gaze of the guilt, to bring a hardened criminal to his knees. But the road ahead is hard. The city's other he- hero superheroes despise her. The cops don't want her around. Her own mom won't stop spitting out advice about marrying a respectable guy and trading in her crime-fighting career for a baby carriage. But is she attracted to respectable guys? Is she interested in emotional commitment? And will finding real love be her biggest challenge of all? Oh, that's so sweet. Aww. What a wonderful, wonderful story. It's not really sweet, though, when you read it. I mean, I it's okay. But I it's, know, it's, I know. It's, it's but more, we can hope it's for comedy. happy endings. It's a comedy. I want a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> Tom brought you in here. I want a happy ending. <laughs> It's, it's very reasonably Let's priced. Happy Joe. Yeah, Joe, right. the guy named Happy Joe must have a happy ending, must right? Have a happy ending, right? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, and uh, we'll come back after a little bit. So this is a song. It's kind of a children's song for yeah, adults. For adults. And, and it's part of the reason we're all here is to uh, to learn something about how we should behave. Right. And the fact that you're here already, you're going in the wrong direction. We're going to try to set you right, right. with this song. <laughs> Cue to Tom. Wait, uh, you in the right key? Oh. Now I am. First rule. People are mean. That's what I've seen. People act mean just because they can understand. People like to see people ripped apart. If not from their flesh, then just from their heart. Because people are mean. So let's cheer for cruelty, we all gotta see them. Let's build a brand spanking new coliseum and watch with delight until the violence ends and then we'll turn on the TV and we'll watch it again. We'll be mean about religion and the way that you vote. We'll be mean because we think that you've got too much hope. We'll be mean to everyone, including your mom. I'll be mean to Doug. And I'll be mean to Tom. People are mean. That's what I've seen. People act mean just because they can understand everyone's a bully in the schoolyard of life everyone is mean to their husband or wife because people are mean so let's all be mean it's the cool way to live you can forget but don't ever forgive let's be mean to whole countries at a time and pretend Pretend that they deserve it so that nobody minds so go on be mean to it doesn't matter who when you turn your back, we'll be mean about you. And don't try to tell me that it's wrong or it's cold. Because an a-hole's an a-hole, no matter how old. People are mean. That's what I've seen. People act mean just because they can understand. People like to see people ripped apart. If not from their flesh, then just from their heart. Because people, people who need people, are mean. Welcome back to the Tom and Doug Show. We have Happy Joe Canzano, and he has his guitar with us today. Mm, it's yeah. a Gibson. It's a Gibson. It's a very attractive guitar. It's old. I've had it a long time. Where did you get that guitar? I bought this at um, 
The guy went out of business. He was down on uh, Route 35 in Sayreville. Uh, Chase on music. Uh huh. It's a beautiful sound. It's good, you know. They had the same guitar up the road for less money, but uh-huh. I actually bought this one because it just sounded better. Uh-huh. So I said, you know, I mean, even though they make them in a factory, certain ones just sound better. It's just yeah, the sure, way it sure. is with any instrument. Very good. Do you have a song you can play for us? I'm going to play a song. Okay. Now, I just wrote this song. Okay, very good. Which means I haven't decided if it's I like it or not yet. Mm-hmm. This is a song inspired by a graffiti artist. Okay. All right. The mayor, he said, hey, we got to stop that man from painting something beautiful among all these garbage cans. He's just around the corner making something better out of this world. He's just around the corner making something better out of this world. So the police were mobilized, a hundred thousand strong. Went roaring down into the slums where nothing nice belongs. He's just around the corner making something better out of this world. He's just around the corner making something better out of this world. We can't allow this thing to fester or take root. It's very distracting while we're trying to count the loot. We've got to keep these people underneath the boots. Zano, the name of that song is. Uh, I'm calling it um something better right now. So it sounds like us. Yes, We're... we are something better out of this world. <laughs> well, you know what? I already have a song called Something Better, so I'm gonna have to call it uh something else. Something even better. <laughs> <laughs> something even something better. Something better than that other better <laughs> thing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's that's catchy. Yeah, we got Thanks. it. That sounds like good. Um, thank you very much for joining us here on the Tom and Doug show. No, I'm not letting him go yet. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Because I've noticed something about yeah. Joe Canzano. He's What's... been on our show several times. Yeah. Mm. And apparently, he knows his own songs. Yeah. How did that? How did you do that? Because when Tom <laughs> and I write a song, it doesn't matter if it's a new song. It doesn't matter if it's an old song. It doesn't matter right. if it's a song we've played like 500 times. We need the music because we can't remember it. And you walk in with a brand new song, and somehow you know it. Yeah. How, how do is it? How do you do that? I don't know how I do that. I think it's more how do you guys not know <laughs> how you're playing? <laughs> All right, let's let them go now. All right, thank you for joining us. We hope thank you. Have, have you back next week or some other time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Here on the Tom and Doug Show, we have no proof that there is life on Mars.
The Tom and Doug Show is 100% organic. 